Hello, we're logged into a Salesforce uh, free trial version. Uh, and what we're going to do is just look to replace this quarterly performance uh, lightning component with a dashboard. Uh, so one of the first things that you'll notice when you log into Salesforce is, um, you know, maybe you want to change this this um, homepage for, you know, certain individuals or for the whole company. Um, so this is going to be a quick overview on how to change a component in general uh, on the homepage. Obviously, there's a lot of different variations we can do with this. You can have different uh, home pages per app. Uh, so as an example here, if I click this app launcher, I could have a different home page for the sales app, the sales operations app, the sales leadership app, et cetera. I could also have a different home page for uh, a sales manager as opposed to a account executive or a BDR as opposed to account executive. So you can set this up in many different ways uh, but what we're reviewing here in this quick video uh, is how to get a dashboard onto the screen. So if I hit this setup gear and I go to edit page, it launches our uh, lightning page layout um, kind of builder here. And uh, you can see here as I hover over all these components, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, you have this trash can and then you have the move icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the trash can and then you can see you're left with the add components here um, kind of area. So if I come over here to dashboards and I drag a dashboard onto this area, you can see by default it, it um, reflects kind of one that's already built in here. Sales manager dashboard, sales and marketing, you know, it's a just boilerplate one that comes with the free version. I'm going to leave it for now, but you can see if I want to change that, I can just click in here and look for a different dashboard. So once I save this, we are good to jump back over here to the home screen. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. Um, you can see I have this little alert popped up. There we go. Um, so I've just placed this dashboard in that area. You can see this isn't like an ideal dashboard because the spacing is a little odd with how many components and how big it is. Um, you know, there's different things that you can do, like uh, just a little quick view of this. Instead of sticking it um, in this area and just leaving it uh, kind of as is, you can add a max height so you can play around with this 200 pixels to 10,000 pixels is the max. So you can do, you know, we'll do 3000. Still looks pretty big. Let's do, let's do like 500. You can see this is going to give you the ability to scroll. So I'm going to save it. And you can see here, instead of having, let's say I want to go to the side and kind of scroll down, I can do that. And then I can just hover over the uh, component and scroll. Obviously, you have the ability to, to just kind of recreate this dashboard and make it a better fit. Or um, one last thing here, as an example, you can throw it, you can have a different layout. So, you know, right now we're dealing with like the boilerplate kind of homepage layout. One thing that you can do is kind of add an accordion. So you can see here, um, with this accordion, I can like expand and collapse different sections. Um, so I could throw this dashboard into this section and leave it collapsed. So that way when they, you know, open up their home screen, it's not taking up the majority. And if they want to then view it, they can open it up on the home screen. Um, so that's a quick little overview of, um, you know, how to get something on the home page. Uh, obviously, you know, we can get, we can get pretty, um, complex with some of the things that we want to do here. So um, we'll probably have some videos later on getting more detail.